Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Story. Uh, today we are finally going to get into some metalworking. Uh, I believe it's episode 6. So it seems like now is a good fitting time to do that. Uh, I know our resources in between last episode and this episode were rather lacking in the metal department. So I did what all YouTubers do inevitably and did some off-screen mining. Now... I know everybody thinks, oh, off-screen mining, and then he comes back and he's got three double chests completely full of diamonds. Uh, so in an uh, effort to be fully transparent with the difficult uh, uh, journey that we're on and being uh, 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 transparent with the grind, I did record the entire journey digging through all of the gravel, all of the sand, all of the dirt to find what iron, uh, copper we do have. Uh, it's just not a great watch. It ended up being about 50 minutes or so for the copper that we did collect. Uh, but I did upload that in a separate video with no commentary. That link is down in the description. It's just unlisted. But uh, I wanted to be fully transparent, like I said, that th th this is not uh, an easy task to get to this point. I believe this world so far is about 11 hours old and we're just now getting into the copper age. But without further ado... All right, we are in the house, down in the basement. We'll jump into looking in our vessels here. And we will see that we have just a ton of copper. Uh, hopefully more than we actually need. Uh, and some galena, which I think is... Oh, lead. Yeah, it is lead. Uh, so galena is, is lead. Uh, I don't know what that's used for, but we have some. The copper is really all that we care about. Part of what I didn't show in that uh, unedited, uh, no commentary footage was I did have to run back out and find a few more nuggets uh, so that we actually could make a hammer. Uh, unfortunately, oops, wrong one. These guys need to be smashed with a hammer. Uh, so I did, ooh, how did I do that? What did I do? <laughs> I swapped out my axe. Didn't mean to do that. Wait a second. Oh, look at that. That's convenient. Anyway, uh, so I did make a hammer mold and an anvil mold. Uh, the anvil mold hasn't been cooked yet. We ran out of grass, but I didn't want to get too far ahead with stuff uh, off camera. Uh, but before we get into smelting our copper, uh, I did cut out the ceiling here and sealed off this room. Uh, we're going to hopefully be able to move in up there. I'm, I'm tired of ducking to walk around in the basement down here. It's awfully dark. Uh, a few of the things that we also found on that expedition are in the inventory here. We found a little bit of brown coal, uh, some cobwebs, a painting, and an aged torch holder. And this is what I'm most excited about. I found, uh, I believe this was just down in like a ruins, a uh, basement ruins. Uh, but it says, can be used to place torches inside, which will never burn out. And I believe uh, someone told me in the comments on a previous video that that's what these do. So hopefully, we can put a torch over our bed, and it'll always be light down here. And that would be great to not have to be struggling for darkness anymore, or worried about it going out. Now, a little bit of decoration... The piece de resistance. Bam! The... The old village. Uh... Maybe if you stand, like, really far back. And... You, like, shake the mouse a little bit. I, yeah, I guess it kind of looks... Like, maybe... Maybe that's a house, and that's a house, and then it's like you're looking through trees. Maybe. If we get close. I, I, I guess this is like a roof, and maybe like that's the roof of another building. And then these brown bits are tree, uh, tree trunks that you're like, you're in the forest looking at a village in a clearing. And that is a hamburger bun. <laughs> Alright, not a great painting, but a painting nonetheless. You know, uh, it, it's it's pretty. It freshens up the house some. Uh, we also did find a, a couple rusty gears, uh, which are the money, I believe. Uh, 
so I imagine two is not enough, but we'll go talk to that trader uh, out in the uh, the gravel beds there and see if maybe we can buy something from him. But what I'm most excited about is to move these stairs because I don't think starting a fire beneath our only staircase is a good idea. So grab some. Oh, no. We'll grab one of these because we're going to be smart. I think we can start this with uh, the 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 firewood. Ah! There we go. Start this with the firewood and then go out through our old exit and grab some some charcoal. There we go. And we'll toss this in there. And then we will toss this in there. Let's see. 20 pieces smelt into one copper ingot. Five units of copper each. Ten would be... 50? Uh-oh. This is a hundred, right? Oh no, do I need 20 units of copper? <gasps> I might I I might still not have enough. Oh, I hope I hope I'm wrong. What happens if I don't fill this? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Poor. No. Maybe it's just a weak a weak hammer now. Maybe it'll be okay. Put these back. And we'll put this back. That's cooling. I might I might be out, out on a run again. That could be a problem. Alright. Well while that cools, we'll uh we'll we'll step back and take a look at everything that we've done. So I cut down one more tree, got us this house, and uh, frankly, I think it needs to be torn down. <laughs> uh, I know, I know there's planks, and I I am using the handbook. I'm using it. Uh, let's see, there are planks. Uh, I think we're near the pine trees. So to get pine planks, we need these pine boards, and to get the board, we need the saw, and to get the saw, we need the well, not business branch. You can make a copper one. Wait for it to change. No, it's not gonna change. All right, I know that there is a a, a copper a copper saw, uh, because we saw that. Yeah, there it is, copper saw, and I couldn't miss clicked copper saw. So to get the copper saw is the same. We gotta do smithing, which is the whole, uh, make the anvil through clay forming, uh, hammer smelt some ingots be forged forge charcoal. So we need this hammer to be a thing, which is still too hot. I did, however, make the anvil, uh, the anvil mold. Oop, there we go. It just uh, isn't baked yet, so we gotta bake that. But we might be in a position where we're looking for more, more copper. Uh, let's take a look at our map, which does remind me, uh, I have some updates with the map. Uh, bam! Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Uh, I was carousing around on the interwebs, and I found there is a command to revert the map. I, I guess this is actually the previous map was that it was colored, and the new map. Let's scroll all the way out here. Is this this like dingy brown? Uh, so as far as I understand, the developers actually prefer this map because it's more. I guess in line with what they want Vintage Story to look like, feel like. Um, I have a hard time distinguishing what I'm looking at on this. Uh, so I did input a command, and I'll put that command down in the description of how to revert your map back to color. Uh, but I wanted, to, again, for full transparency, I wanted to be uh, clear as to what I was, um, what I was doing here. Uh, so I, I, this is a, a command uh, I did put in. It does change the map, but it does not do anything else. It just sets it back to color. Uh, let's see. I think 
these are just the other side of the lake. Maybe we can go get some nuggets there. Uh, and maybe a little bit of food on the way. But while we travel over there, I just wanted to say uh, to everybody who has been uh, commenting on all the videos thus far, uh, I think at the time of recording, uh, we're up to episode four, uh, at least fully out on uh, on YouTube. Uh, and everybody who has uh, commented with their, their tips and tricks and hints uh, or just genuinely being nice, uh, supportive, uh, I want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Uh, it's it's incredibly nice to come into a a community uh, as an outsider and be, for the most part, just welcomed with open arms. Uh, seeing everybody's uh, you know likes and subscription stuff, it, it's it's very heartwarming, and I appreciate it deeply. Uh, you guys have been certainly encouraging encouragement to to make more episodes, and uh, I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you. So I'm digging upward to scale this mountain because that this uh, these blocks would be over that exposed copper vein we saw down there. And I'm hoping that uh, because these blocks are over that that vein, uh, the there the surface is always marked with nuggets. Uh, that's like how you see that there's a vein underground. Um so I'm hopeful that we can get lucky, and I, th I think we can. Uh, I think we just need to get one nugget off of the ground, and that might give us. Hopefully, that gives us three nuggets. Hopefully, it doesn't give us one. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> that would be a pain. Weird. All right, come on, nuggets. Never, never been a nuggets fan, and I'm still not one. Apparently. Does, does breaking copper ever give you a nugget? Oh, now I gotta go back. Because now I don't know. And I feel like I feel like if there's a chance that it gives you a nugget, then it then it gives you the nuggets that I need. Give to me your nuggets. Did you give me a nuggety goodness? I don't think it does. Man. Well, I guess we're back on the grind, huh? I will go looking for the nuggets. Nuggets. Man, ooh, nugget. Nugget, 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 nugget. Okay, so, uh, because I didn't have any commentary on the mining expedition, I can use this as a, as a moment to, to, do, to do commentating. So, native copper bits pick it up oh we got two all right but if you dig straight down under a nugget all the way down through the dirt you'll find copper and then you can mine it up uh <laughs> that oh okay i was gonna say maybe i got super lucky and got the one piece of copper But, uh, oh, more copper. We don't want to dig dirt with our pick, because our pick is getting low on durability. So we'll mine that all out. I think that's it. So we can ascend back out of the pit. Hopefully there's a few more pieces of nuggety goodness around here. But I don't see any. All right, we got to find one more... One more, one more nugget on the ground somewhere. And I think, I think we're in a good area for copper, uh, being that there was a node like right there, and then there was a node here. So maybe, maybe we just got to be extra vigilant. Some, there's a slothy boy uh, down here, and he's angry. Shush, shush you, before I am outside and you are inside somehow. You're underground. My, it's my phone again. But it gave me a spook. <laughs> Wee. Man. The vistas on this place. I could see living up here. 
Maybe maybe when we get more established, we, we do come live up here. I'm gonna mark it right on the map, but this is this is just a this is a cool cool vista. Uh, let's mark it with another house, and we'll mark it with a teal house, just because like a it could be like a maybe. Like the blue house is the real house, but this is like a maybe. I think our our hobbit hovel is uh is quickly out uh be uh, quickly is uh why am I having a hard time thinking? Brain work better. I think our hobbit hovel it, that is a moose can you tame moose <laughs> am I about to be gored by a moose come here mr. moose I have seeds for you are you cool are you cool you're not cool you're not cool I don't think you're cool oh you're not cool Whoa, God. Oh, maybe it wants the green? I don't think it wants the green. No, it doesn't want the green. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do not... Do not disturb the moose. Much like real life. But I want to go that way. Where is it? I don't know where it went. Uh, okay, well, before the moose scenario, uh, the oh no! Oh no! I might have caused this indirectly. I don't think I've actually dead male moose crushed. Oh, it did. It fell off. Poor guy. Oh, dinner. Oh, and don't forget the bones. Uh, but I, I was going to say our hobbit hovel is uh, quickly uh, getting too small for our britches. And I think we might have uh, 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 we might have need to move into something much larger. We also haven't actually gone hunting yet. All the meat we've gotten is from animals that have fallen off of cliffs. So uh, I don't have to feel bad about eating them. More importantly, uh, underneath these ruins, sometimes, are basements. And you, like, you dig down a little bit, and then you kind of, like, you poke around and just kind of see. Um, sometimes there's, like, pots. Sometimes there's basements. You keep on, keep on, keep it on. Oh, that's a bear. Oh, that's a pair. Did he see us? He he saw us. Oh, he definitely saw us. I was eating his berries. So one of the things that uh, I did want to talk about a bit while we're looking for while we're looking for these uh, copper nuggets. Uh, the the beginning of vintage story certainly has a steep steep learning curve. Uh. But we're definitely starving a lot less. Uh, we're getting into the groove of things. Uh, you know, wake up, get food, do thing. Rinse and repeat. Um, but things are starting to kind of click and make sense. Uh, the handbook is a certain necessity. Uh, I know that I tried to skip it in the beginning, and it it is not. Uh, it is a non-negotiable thing. You definitely have to use it um, part of me does wonder if it's a hindrance uh, to the game as a whole uh, just to to point back at uh, other block game the the when that game first came out and nobody knew how anything worked ooh that demon portal opened up immediately behind us. That's not good. Uh, the fact that you couldn't really just play the game alone, even though it was only single player at the time, I think fostered an online community 
where uh, because the handbook is in Vintage Story, I do wonder if that that uh, that online you know forced community interaction uh, is is kind of lost. Uh, you're not you're not actively searching for uh, help. You're not actively you know googling. And I guess to use it as a verb, you're not actively going onto YouTube and like following how to tutorials and stuff. Uh, not saying that they aren't out there and that they're not a huge help to people like me uh, who have just started this journey. But uh, when the mass of players uh, don't need to leave the confines of the game to progress in it. Uh, are you missing out on that uh, that connection? Oh boy! But that's my rant for the day. Uh, no matter what, this game is, as far as I'm concerned, perfect. Let's go see. Our torch is still burning. That's good. And our hammer is cold. What does that mean? Uh, let's throw these in there. Can I do something? Pour molten metal. Okay, so let's pick this up, put this here, put those in there, uh, and then we'll start it with a piece of firewood so that, ooh, we should probably, you know, you know what we're going to do? We're going to, did I close that door? I did. It's... Ooh, they're, they're loud. Let's, uh... oh, you know what, you know what somebody said? Uh, we can actually start our fire with our torch. Perfect. Look at that. It works. Alright. Let's see. I have a little brown coal. Oops. As soon as this gets up to temp, I guess. Just so we can save our coal as long as possible. Let that burn and go. And then we will pour our hammer. And we will have a hammer. And then... This needs grass. And sticks. Whoops. And sticks. Perfect. And last but certainly not least, it needs a log. <laughs> Give that... It needs... Come on. Eh. Bigger house. We need a bigger, bigger house. And less grumpy neighbors. Thank you. They can't break down doors, can they? I hope they can. Am I close enough? I'm not close enough. Whoa. Can we? Yeah, look at us go. Wah. I guess let's go to bed. Not that... I just said we shouldn't be sleeping as much as we are, but we need to speed up some time here. That looks cold to me. It's cold! Hammerhead. Do I just, uh, yup. Bam. Oh, look at us go. Here we go. Into. Oh, that's filled. Into the Copper Age. Make some room. Give, 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 give. And that's all of it. Alright, here we go. Let's let's see our gains here. Woohoo! Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Look at that! Oh my god. We got four stacks and fifteen. Oh. Twenty-seven? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I don't know. What else the hammer is good for? Uh, if you hover over it and hit H, it will tell you what it is good for. Ingredients for aged debarked log. <gasps> oh, this is leather. Okay. All right. So the hammer, the hammer is for leather, and this. Eh, eh. All right. This. Oops. This can go here for now. This can be meat. And I guess we have to wait until we can pour the anvil. So that's that's okay. We'll just hang out here a second. One of the things that this game does incredibly well is make you feel accomplished uh, for all the little tasks that you do. 
Like this, this takes what? 10 seconds, maybe, bam. But now there's a whole process to make this ax head mold into, oh, it's an ax head. Oh, look at that. I, I've been viewing it this way the whole time. This way is an ax head. But <laughs> the, uh, the fact that you make this in like 10 seconds, but then you have to do 10 more steps to get to that point, to get to this point so that you can get to this to melt copper and put it in there. Uh, it, it's just nice. It, it adds a, uh, a sense of accomplishment for doing, I, I don't want to say the bare minimum because it's certainly not the bare minimum, but it's, uh, it, it, it is nice to, to be able to feel like you've done more than the average bear. Uh. Ah! You guys are mean. Are you made out of stone? Can I pickaxe you? Ow. Get out of here, buddy. Ah! Uh, alright. I don't think I can take him. <laughs> Go away. No soliciting. I don't, I don't know how to make him go away. <laughs> but I don't think I can fight him. Let's see. Is there... Is there, uh, maybe a chest plate? Chest. Nope. Okay. Uh. Arm. Oh, armor. Armor stand. I don't have leather. What's wood armor? Oh! Wait a second. I have all these things. So far, the sloths are the only enemies that I've seen in this game. So I don't know, I don't know if it gets any bigger, badder, worse, or, yeah, there we go. Uh, how do we put it on? C to character. Oh. <laughs> uh, percent protection blocked 55%. Oh, so I don't take damage like ever. 55%, that's good. Where are you? Come here, I'm a... You missed. Get back here. Yeah, you're on the run now. You're on the run now. Ow, 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 that hurt, that hurt. Ha <laughs> ha! I killed a drifter. <laughs> I did it. Oh, well, this way. What do you get? I want drifter meat. Oh, you don't get anything. Mechanical power. I don't need that. All right, reed chest it is, because that's the only chest we can make. But that's that's cheaper than another pot. I don't. I don't. I don't think we can afford another pot anyway. <laughs> Although if the chest is so cheap, why would you make pots? I made pots because I had clay and I thought that's what you did. But or pots vessels. Oh no! I know why the 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 vessel does like uh, f uh, uh, food storage. I think I think that makes the food last longer. I I'm actually I'm almost positive of that. Yeah. Do I need how many of these? Do I need? Eight, I think 18. I think I need two of each. Or, 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 or two in a, in a box. Oh, so 16. I need 16 each. Right? Because then I go like this. That did not... Chest. Read chest. Oh, I need three. Uh, I need 20. No. I'm bad at math. I need 24. <laughs> if I'm still wrong, don't tell me. <laughs> I'm so bad at math. <laughs> there we go, 24. Yeah, oh, there we go, yeah. Yeah, 24. All right, let's head back to shore here. Bounty. Why are there two dead bunnies there? I don't know. It's concerning. Hopefully this, uh... Ugh. Hopefully this chest will, um, give us a little bit more space. And we can 
not carry around quite so much. No way. Oh, God, this tree finally grew. <laughs> oh, God, it's... I didn't, I didn't actually think it would grow at this point, honestly. Because we kind of buried it but by making the, the, the lawn flat. We'll cut that down in a minute. Uh, let's see. Chest. Uh, chest, chest, chest. Too, too much junk. Too much junk. Uh, if I move this knife, then I can put the chest here. Oh, that's why. The vessel, the vessel contains more. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, food storage speed up at the top there. Uh, 1.34, so it food spoils faster in here. But over here, 0.98, it spoils slightly slower. Okay. Well, we can put all of our kappa in there. Uh, those are seeds, so let's not put those in there. Let's not put that in there. Uh, we can put that in. And uh, this. Okay. This actually can get turned off. I don't need that anymore. And doop, doop, perfect. This is cooking. We'll have to let that that uh that cook. I want to pour the I want to pour the anvil today, but I, I worry we are running out of time for this episode. We've learned so much. We've gained so many things. That cranberry bush definitely needs to move. I do, though. I do wonder if uh, if we need to build a, a bigger, better house somewhere else. I, I don't want to leave the hovel. I like the hovel. I feel safe in the hovel. Except when the drifters come here. I don't like when the drifters come here. But I, I feel safe here. I don't want to leave. The, this thing is still burning. I think it burns for like two days or something. Not positive. Ooh. Oh, this tree grew too. We're planting roots. Well, everyone, as the day sets on yet another episode of our Vintage Story Zero to Hero series, I want to thank you for joining me on this uh, journey. Today we were able to successfully get ourselves up and running into the Copper Age. As soon as the anvil uh, mold finally makes its way out of uh, its pit kiln there, I will make us an anvil for the next episode. But I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming along with me on this journey. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. So, ooh. Always stop. Quick snack. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, no, 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 no. What was that? What was that? Oh, oh, we walked right into that thing. <laughs>